there's several steps you have to do first to get ready. There's a switch right here that says light and exhaust fan. You're going to turn both those on. Notice how you can hear the exhaust fan going. Okay, that's very important. Next, the oxygen is not on right now. The gas is on. Um, like it's, it's running through these lines. It's not on. Here's the oxygen line. It's this green lever. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is put some goggles on. Goggles are right here. And I already have my hair tied back, and nothing else is dangling that could potentially catch fire. Um, before I start, I have a container of water here. I've got some tongs to grab the metal with, and I have a striker. Okay, this makes fire. Keep them away, please. Okay. I'm going to put my two pieces of metal. I'm going to be um, doing some fire scale and annealing. On these two pieces of metal, this is a piece of fire brick, which will not catch fire. will also not get super hot. So I'm just going to put that here. I like it tilted so that I can kind of see what I'm doing as well. Okay, I'm going to be using this torch station right here. And I've got my striker ready. All right now, these are both not on. So when they're perpendicular like this, they're not on. So to turn them on, I have to turn them this way so that they're now in line with the pipes. Okay? But they're still not on here. That just means that they're flowing through the tubes right now, but this is stopping them, okay? Um, there's two lines here. There's a green and a red. So the red one, it's easier to see on this one. This says gas. This says air. This one's a little bit worn down, so it's, well, I guess you can read it. So this says gas. Gas is the red one. What I'm going to do is turn on the gas first. Not full blast, but you can hear it coming out. You don't want to let that run forever because then you're just filling the air with natural gas. Okay, so as soon as you turn it on, you want to put that striker to it. Sometimes it's hard to hold the torch and strike it. So if you need two people, pick one person to strike it, um, you know, because sometimes it takes two people. So now I officially have fire, right? Can't do a whole lot with this fire um, unless I add some oxygen to it. So now I'm going to add the green line, which turns on the oxygen, slowly, until I get a blue flame. Okay, when you turn on the oxygen too quickly, it will extinguish the flame. Okay, so that happened. That happened. Just turn everything off again and start from scratch. Okay, because what you don't want is a bunch of natural gas in the air. Then you light it because you're getting a huge boom of fire. Sometimes I come back and get to it. Okay. All right, so I've got a, about a six-inch flame. If you want to make it more pointy, because sometimes you'll need a little bit more flame like that. That's a little bit stronger. Sometimes you need it less pointy. What I'm going to do to these two pieces of metal is I'm going to do something called annealing, which makes the metal a little bit more um, malleable and ductile so that you can hammer it and texture it and bend it. And then also I'm going to show you um, how to fire scale, which is just sort of painting the copper with flame. Okay. So for um, to begin with, just hit the copper with the fire. And it does take a while for the entire copper to get heated enough to where it's going to do something. But once it starts changing color, then you know that it's changed properties. This piece of fire is now a needle. I'm going to get the full core. Pointy for this. See how pointy the um, fire that is? And I'm going to fire scale on this. Right now when we're done, we're done with the fire, we're going to turn the oxygen off first. And it should go back to just an orange flame because now there's just gas. Now I'm going to turn the gas off. Okay, now I have no fire and no natural gas. 
coming out of that, so that's good. Watch out for this, because that's extremely hot, of course. I'm going to hang that up. I've got my tongs ready. I'm going to do what's called quenching. Obviously, do not touch the copper. It's extremely hot. Just drop it in there real fast. Okay? You can hear it sizzle, and that means it's cooling. Take this to the other piece of metal. And then now that I've done that, I can go ahead and turn this off. And then it should be cool. This one just annealed. This one is um, it's a fire scale. So you can see some pretty colors there. It's just a way of coloring copper. There's many different. 